first um, unleashed those powers, I guess, if you will, on the world as Mr. Darcy. He's followed uh, that up with a romantic follow-up, marrying Mr. Darcy, premiering this Saturday at 9, 8 Central, right here, Hallmark Channel. Welcome back, Ryan Page. <laughs> You didn't want to do the doggy voice. Ryan, baby, Ryan, baby, Ryan, baby. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. So puppy face. It's so weird. It's not like Gollum. I can't do it. We can do that. We'll do that one later. That's less cute. I do that all the time because Norbert has a voice. Fred has a voice. Yeah. My kids don't like it when I give them voices. Wait up your room. That's not your true voice. All right, so pick us up, but bring us up to speed where Donovan left off in the in the first version. This your character, and then um, where and the things for his wedding plans with Elizabeth are getting a little uh, yeah. skew. Yeah, well, obviously Elizabeth and Donovan come from very different worlds, right? Sure. And there's a little bit of friction, you know, as as there is, I think, trying to get those two worlds to marry. I'm particularly pleased to watch the evolution of her relationship with um, Violet. Mm. Yeah. 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 Mm. Um, you know what? I, this is not a spoiler alert for anyone who saw the first one. Oh, it's a little bit meddlesome. That was yeah. loaded. A little yeah. Bit. A little bad. Yeah. 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 But not but now maliciously she's show. Planner. So, yeah, she is. She yeah. is. To a degree. <laughs> she, she can't help herself. She can't help herself. She means well. It maybe Does doesn't she? always come across that yeah. way. Does she mean well? But. Well, but. we have a clip yeah. where. Um, Aunt Violence meddlesomeness. I don't know mm -hmm. if that's a word, but if it is, I like it. I'd like <laughs> yeah, to. That's no, always one of my favorite. I'd like right. to submit that for consideration. Right. Um, we're, it's really front and center. She's she's actually chosen your your wedding date. Let's take a gander. Take a look. <laughs> Let's be the fifth generation of Darcy's to get married at Grace Church. Wonderful. I'm so pleased. So, which Saturday in November did you get? We would prefer early in the month, but we're flexible. No, uh, I told you it was wonderful news. I lied. It's actually a miracle. I got you the church for the third Saturday in June. June, as in a year from now? Uh, we don't want to wait that long. You don't have to. The church is yours this June, two months from now. Oh. Um. Well, I say we go for it. Wedding planning in two months. Why don't you simple, right? <laughs> Oh, that stresses me out. Yeah? <laughs> Aunt Violet is stressing me out. <laughs> I, I don't know anything about wedding planning, so I mean, and even I know oh, that, that yeah. that's two a bit is too of a, much. yeah, it's a bit of a crunch. <sighs> yeah, are you stressed? A little bit. A little bit. And it already happened, and I'm like, I've like post traumatic stress yeah, syndrome a little bit. from it now. Well, in, in the movie, there's a bit of um, conversation about whether the wedding should be in a formal church mm -hmm. setting, like we've just heard, yeah. or if it just should be casual on a rooftop somewhere. And I'm going to go out on a limb here. And I think I'm going to be right. If you were to choose where you would like to have your wedding, I think you would say probably a casual outdoor oh, wedding. Sure. That's because why you said go out on a limb. Yeah. Go out on a limb. Yeah. Yeah. She, she was baiting yeah. you. He so would actually have a tree house wedding. Yeah. It would be yeah, a Yeah, well, you know, and continuing talking about those words. That yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know you love nature. I do. I do. I You've do. always I been an outdoors guy. I would definitely do the outdoorsy wedding because I like to do everything. Where outdoors. did that begin? My parents. My parents were big adventure folk. Oh my God, oh, there's it? pictures of tiny me. Oh. <laughs> um, my mom and my dad uh, were big campers way back in the day, and oh. I used to go uh, I used to go fly fishing with them. This is the King's River on the western slope True of the Sierras. True camping or glamping? No, cl camping, camping. Camping, camping. Okay. camping. I don't think glamping like, existed back then. <laughs> no, I don't think glamping existed yeah, back yeah, then. Okay. But um, yeah, no, and, and I think I have like a lizard or something in oh. one of those. I was always oh. catching critters. I was sure. always looking for something. Even as an adult, my head's always on a swivel looking, oh, for, things. looking for things so when you go out. Oh yeah, I grew up swimming in that, drinking that. Ooh, my mom, that? wow. My mom was a big uh, Mayan civilization fan, so we went to the Yucatan Peninsula a number of times. Oh, we went wow. to the ruins at Chichen Itza and Uxmal, which I think is where that's at. Oh, how cool! Um, this was back when you could still like actually make physical contact with. Right, and yeah. climbed the stairs. You, have. At, you did at, at really? Chichen Itza and Uxmal. Um, what I, a it great was great thing to have. On oh, the oh yeah. Show. Okay, so. You know, I, I was laughing. My dad sent me a bunch of these throwback adventures, and I forgot how much time we used to spend in the ocean. I grew up kind of a little bit of a surf rat. I've surfed in a long time. Look That's at me. That. That's impressive. Um, That's back true. when puka shells were still a thing. <laughs> 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 let's uh, bring them back. Right? Let's do I, it. I, I, I love a puka shell. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that's Pops and I, and I'm pretty sure that's Indonesia. Are you, um, are you and your dad you still a lot of get together and go out and fish and do all fish the Fish and, and less surfing these days, but a lot of fishing. Yeah. A lot of fly fishing, yeah. all catch and release stuff. And we, we still have our old haunts. That's really? us. That's me deciding that I, I can touch fire with my hands. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, and my dad with a big brown, and I recognize that as the King's River. Oh, and that, that fish definitely went right back in the water immediately afterwards. And that's so. still legit camping. Oh, no yeah. glamping there. There's, no, no, no. No, no. no, I'm the resident. I'm the camp cook, the resident lumberjack. I'm also a, a controlled arsonist. <laughs> as long as it happens inside the little dish, fish. you're good. We're good. You're also the, I guess, the assigned photographer on the journey as well. I know we share the same passion for a bit. Yeah. I saw some of your work, and I'm blown away by just... What do you look at? Well, who, who inspires you? Is there a photographer, or is it just... The process Honestly, of capturing imagery when you're out and about. Nature is my muse. Uh, yeah. My dad's a big photographer as well, so I, pro I probably got a little bit of that from him. He was always having us, you know, like set the camera up over here and then sure. stand in front of it really fast. Um, but I just, I, I, I've been fortunate enough that I get to adventure and I get to travel a lot, and you can't help but want to like right. record little pieces of these adventures that go to some really yeah. beautiful places. I mean, it's beautiful. Oh, wow. I love that's it. my bike. That's, that's the bike. Beautiful. Well, that's beautiful. With that the backdrop. Just... Look at that. Okay, so the one on the left is near a place in Utah called Grand Staircase near the Escalante Wilderness. And I mm -hmm. took a huge backpacking and kayaking trip there that was really interesting. And it looks like Mars. I promise I didn't even punch the color very much on this. I took the picture because it was so piercingly bright red. Yeah. It, was, it almost oh looked weird. Goodness. And that is Arches National Park on my bike, which wow. I do all, I, I go all over the it's country. It's beautiful. On that thing. Yeah, I'll tell you, it's, oh, just seeing some of your stuff, though, I love how when you're out there, it's hard to not take pictures and be a part yeah. of it. And it's, it's, to me, it's art. I like, yeah. I like photos it's because it's a way for me to preserve a piece of that trip without actually modifying the space. I didn't do anything. I didn't leave yeah. any garbage. I didn't take anything, but yeah. I took a picture. Ah. So, picture, that's a good word. It doesn't affect <laughs> that space. I left it yeah. the way I found it for you to go and see. Right. Sure. And I will take my picture. I will take go. something from there. But not yet remove anything right, from exactly. the exactly See what leave I did. It the way leave the footprints, take only memories. That's there it is. Oh, wonderful. Wow.